Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, in addressing an audience of chemists, I must remind you that for us in the medical school, chemistry is an applied science. We are obliged to work with a test tube in the one hand and a frog, a mouse, a rat, or a rabbit in the other. Our field of work lies largely in the borderland between physics and chemistry and biological and medical science. I can only select a few examples from among many researches that have been carried on in the last 40 years by way of illustration of my statement of our great dependence in the field of biological research on chemical and physical science. One of the topics that I should like to present to you concerns what is called vivid diffusion. 